everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we got everything repaired here. Let's have a quick look um, at the mech bays. So we've got our Thunderbolt back now. Um, and we're going to wait for the Bushwhacker and Grinner to get these guys fixed up because they're going to cost about 400000 each to get fixed up. So let's have a look at the Thunderbolt. I'm not 100% happy with the load on this, but I kind of went with basically what we had. Now we don't have a lot of amazing weapons. Um, but I wanted to keep the, the punch up on this guy as much as I could. So our heat efficiency, let's, let's have a look at that first. Uh, heat sinking is not the best, um, but we're not going to be using all the weapons all the time. And we are using a prototype double heat sink kit here, so I'm hoping to find some more prototype double heat sinks. Um, so yeah, the basic loadout is a double plus large laser with evasion pips ignored and bonus accuracy. Then we've got four... Um, double plus medium lasers with extra damage. Now these things are a little bit hot, minus one accuracy with the weapon, but laser weapons have an initial plus one accuracy, so it's not so bad, I guess. We're really just using plus one to hit. But we've got four of these guys loaded in, so it's four times 30 damage, 45 for the large laser. We've got an arc launcher in here uh, with some haywire ammo to uh, make it harder for people to hit us and to slow them down, plus a tag. And we've got a, an LRM-15 in here with one ton of LK ammo. Now this is going to be enough for eight turns of firing, which isn't so bad. Um, fire control system advanced for a little bit bon a little bit of a bonus. Not much, but a little bit. Uh, slick suite and powered sensors for a bit more visual range. Uh, light engine. This thing cost me about 1.4 about 1 million to get everything up and running. we got an NSS system on here because it's not really the fastest mech. 300 core, but still though, um, our movement is, I think, like... Was it 5.9? Yeah, so it's not so bad. Case 2 to protect this side. Um, exchanger and heats and cooling pods, so not too bad. And I did manage to drop the large combat shield in here to reduce our damage taken um, just by a little bit, just to give it a bit more protection as we're going. And I went with the Angel ECM suite. I would rather reduce my signature and visibility on sensors uh, because I'm a little bit slower showing up a little bit later to the fight. Um, at least they won't be able to see me as I'm approaching. So that's kind of why I went with that. And it's basically this loadout. So let's just go jump right in and take a high level mission today. So let's go to the contracts. We're going to go right to a four skull. Take biological sample. This will be two lances. We've got to reco re recover the biological sample. Plus we've got to uh, get the scientist from a local government facility. So let's negotiate this and we're going to go full salvage of course. We're pretty close to having enough for a financial report. I think we should be able to get more than enough to get that. Now, let's do this. We're going to leave the Wolverine out, moving the Bushwhacker over to Sunflower for now, and we are going to run with the Thunderbolt as Baba Yaga's primary mech, and let's deploy this and get it done. Alright, here we go. Don't particularly like this layout here. Uh, but generally what I do is I move along this way. Um, so this we gotta hit both of these well this is our primary facility and our escape point so we could just run straight in here grab it and leave uh, the other thing is is that we, this is our secondary facility so i generally like moving my way along here dealing with what i can along this area this provides a lot of opportunity for um for cover and defense along here and then make our way to this one uh you, you could go this way um but if you're going to be fighting everybody which i generally like to do um, it's better to be a little safer than sorry i think the reason why I don't like this one is because basically these guys are both kind of flush here and just to move forward you end up with all eight guys on you at once. So just got to be a little careful. Now we're going to stick together as best we can here. Yes, Commander. Keep our ECMs working as a group. Now Thunderbolt's not that fast. That's actually not that bad. Not that bad. Could be a lot worse. Commander. Gonna move to the second set of trees here. Okay. Going full throttle. Got a griffin, hatchet man, catapult two. Okay, we want the catapult. Um let's start it up, why not? Commander. Biz flowers. And, yep, just going to fire. What do we got back here? A Zukov, eh? 
General Zukov. Once again, we don't want to close if we can avoid it. It's just going to put more of their guns on us. So this actually isn't that bad heat-wise. Yeah, Red Comet. Let's just get into here. We're not going to fire. I'm going to hold off. Here in vehicles over here. There's our salvage, I mean, uh, target. Yeah, man. AMS. Systems holding. AMS for the win. We Centurion. Be nice if we could pick up a catapult as the second mech. Although I don't know where it would fit into this lance currently as it is. I'm gonna try and stay at range as best we can until we get close. Uh, good time for this. And let's hammer him. Nothing in the left arm, I don't think, anyway, so. Not really giving us all that much except to make it easier to penetrate to the CT attacking. Hello. Goodbye. Tag, you're it. Oh, the tag knocked him down. Nice. You enjoying the day? Actually. What's this guy back here? Demolisher R. Brr. Look at how fast this guy is. I keep forgetting how fast this guy is. Quick step in it. Shut him down, shut him, shut him, shut him down. Fire an owl. Oof, AMS, okay. Nice little gully. Let's finish this guy up. Fire it all just to be sure. Okay, seven versus four now. Damage minimal. Of course it is. Too close for him. Don't trust it to move in at Demolisher back there. Maybe we can get PPC on this turn. I wonder how much armor this guy has. Hope that's not the Gauss Rifle version. Alright. Fulcrum. So that's six of the seven guys. There's one more person or one more vehicle or mech somewhere. One more somewhere. Huh. Okay. Standing. I was hoping you can get a shot at that demolisher, but I guess not, eh? Um. Yes, Commander. Uh, I hate to say this, but I gotta give that hatchetman a target. Damn it. Uh, 
Okay, we can get on that demolisher now. But not a whole lot. Jeez, it's even terrible, eh? Let's take the shot. Well, let's go for the leg. Let's try it. Wow, that's, that's awful. Okay, let's do this. And we're going to go... I think that route. I hope one of these hits. Uh, maybe that should be C. And this B. Let's fire. Aye. Just need one on these guys. Okay, acid on that guy. Nope. Negative damage. Repeat. Ah, he's Negative got an AMS. Damage. Okay. He's hoping to shut this guy down. Seven from twenty hits with the AMS. Nice. This guy's barely been scratched. Well, buddy, you're just about to lose your hatchet. Come on. What are you doing? So we're going to move up Sunflower. Going to target the uh, Hatchetman, I think. Either that or the Centurion, whichever one's easier to hit. Is that Fulcrum moving in? I don't kind of like, I don't like how we're split up here. Light Thunderbolt Carrier, okay. Well, we know what the last vehicle is. They've got a lock on me. Commander. You need to protect Megasaur, so let's get up here. There's our target firing. Target acquired. Okay, he's got a rack five, so that's not so bad. I think we do an end run. You need to smash this guy's arm off, please. Or you could just destroy him completely, that works too. Hope we can salvage that. Yeah, man. Order. So do I. Let's lock it up here. Uh, either or, Centurion or Fulcrum. Fulcrum, uh, it's got not bad armor. Let's just fire at the Centurion. Oof. Watch my heat. Not abandoning your girl, you're coming over here too. We're just shifting the battlefield slightly. Getting away from that demolisher. Fire at this guy. Yeah, these medium lasers really bad chances to hit. LRM can stay off, save a bit more heat, firing. Yeah, definitely not liking this loadout. Gotta figure out something to do with it. Let's 
I'm showing minor damage. Hmm. I'm receiving you. Got it. Full speed, no target. Cooling off. Uh, I'm going to leave this off. I'm going to switch this back. Well, he's got it. Let's just leave it off. He's got an AMS. It's really stopping really stopping us from doing stuff to this guy. So let's just fire these. Keeping him nice and toasty. Yeah, he's like way up there in the heat scale now. All right. At least the demolisher's got its rack five jammed. Whose turn is it? Demolisher? Centurion? Centurion, it looks like. He's trying to figure out what to do. He's probably going to run a melee. He's just trying to figure out who to do it to. So, I don't know what to do with this Thunderbolt. It's all laser points except for one missile point. It's like seven laser, one missile. I mean, we could do, like, pulse lasers. I don't know. Give me out a PPC, I guess, with a PPC capacitor. I did attempt that. But heat-wise, it's still nasty. We'd have to go to a double heat sink kit and then fill it with double heat sinks. We need to get we need to find more prototype double heat sinks, that's the big thing. Come on guys, what are you doing? I'm interested to see how many kills Megasaur has now. We checked our uh Falc Jade Falcon Freeborn for a number of kills. I think the highest was up to including vehicles in max on 134. We've been going for 15 episodes longer. Well, actually not 15 episodes. It works out, I think, to seven episodes more because we we started off in 997 and then we switched to 998 and we had to re-roll and start over again. So it's really seven more episodes. Probably be a, about the same amount of missions. You didn't move? You, you didn't move? Um, Position confirmed. Let's pull this guy out of the battle. Pew! Vehicle trashed. Okay. Standing by. On my way. Time to start doing this because this guy barely moved. All right, not bad. He's going on 16, which means we go before him, which means we should be able to shut him down. Fifty-six melee damage, not too bad. Question is, huh? Yeah, these medium lasers got to go. Just not doing what I want. Let's do this, and we're just gonna fire straight out on the side. Um, uh, yeah. Let's hope we got a couple leg hits. Looks like we did. Got a tag on it. Enemy Hit the haywire, unfortunately. Okay, almost got the leg. I'm here. Comet, we can do offensive push after this leg. And firing. Should be enough. Yeah. Critical hit, Commander. Burn, baby. Let's just move over here. So that's our turn gone. 
Not bad. Vehicle vehicle gone and the catapult with the leg missing. Where did you go? You turned your back and ran away? Nicely done. Oh, God. Well, he wants to turn his back. We'll oblige him. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Firing. Okay, good start. Thunderbolt carrier. I wonder if it's in visual range now. It is, which means it's in squash range. Did they change this? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Nice little missile truck. Cool. Start with you. Huh. Let's go a little into the red. I want to see if we can get acid on this guy over here. Uh. No love on that strike. Oh, AMS, that's why. Heat, yep, I am keeping an eye on your heat. Um, sure. Okay, haywired. Least. Tagged. I see you got your rack back up and working. He's got two rack fives. That's potentially hazardous. They've got a sensor lock on me. Standing by. Oh. Roger. I copy. D tagged and chaffed. Nice. Get on the side of this guy, firing. Okay, we've almost got him. Just gotta make sure we hit that side. And fire it all. Yeah. Nice. Make sure we don't have our back to that guy if he moves. Let's do this. Oof. Let's just heat him up. Okay, it's still enough.
think we got that Prometheus flame or something on us. Ooh. Where are you moving, buddy? Not far enough. Try to save as much engine parts as we can by attacking them from the front. Oh. Reporting one left Nicely done. Uh can you not get around these guys? Oh you can. Roger. Okay. And gonna do this and this and this. And firing. Yes, Commander. Warlord, this let's get cooled off. Uh, all the flamers on. Let's go after this leg and fire. Copy that, Commander. Reporting critical hit. Affirmative. All right, and Warlord. Don't got much left. I think three medium lasers should probably be enough. Yep. Nicely done. Hope we got enough parts for a catapult now. Yes, Commander. Let's finish this up. Commander. Um, let's move you forward. Hunt this vehicle. Double time. I'm receiving you. You can get this. And we'll hunt the vehicle as well. Find out if he's got an AMS here. And firing. We have the secondary acid, Commander. Bring it home. We got the primary acid too. What you talking about, buddy? What you talking about, Willis? Acknowledged. And firing. Here it comes. Okay, softened up. And where do we hit? Side. Waiting for orders. Let's finish this guy up. Here it comes. Cool looking tank. Three hundred and seventy-two. Nicely done. Yeah, that thunderbolt is really underwhelming. So contract payment increased by thirty percent. Got a little bit of sea bills here. Not much, but enough. Enough. Well, Thunderbolt did get four, three kills, so... And five kills for Megasaur. Holy crap. Okay, so I know we got catapult parts. Uh, I should just take four. And leave it at that. Um, I just want to double check. I don't think there's anything amazing down here. Rack fives. We still got rack. We got racks, don't we? Got one. Thunderbolt fives. Ah. These things are going to be great for later on. Compact heat sinks. Composite end of steel engines. Internal combustion XLs, which are like three hundred twenty-five thousand to sell or something. Ah, man. No, I think really powered sensors, void. There's a lot of good stuff here. I mean, they had good gear. But I think we need to move forward. Let's go this route. All right, one, two, three, four, five catapult parts, two centurion parts. Nice. Uh, triple plus medium laser. Accuracy and evasion ignore with, and crit. 
See, that's the other route we can go, is go the accuracy medium lasers instead. It's an extra couple of points to hit, a couple of uh, pips to hit. Anyway. All right, war activities, not too much going on. Catapult 1M. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see what that is. Um, we're going to have to start getting rid of some of these mechs out of the mech bay here. Oh, it's got an NSS, really. Okay, so the core is intact. So, it had MML 7 and 9 on one arm. SRM Artemis ammo. Deadfire and, and LRM incendiary ammo. He's seen cooling pod. This thing's got, got a built-in XL engine. That is really nice. 281,000. Let's get that started. Let's confirm that for sure. For sure. Basically the standard catapult though, right? It's got four missile and four laser hard points and two uh, support. So, I mean, we could turn it into a support platform. We can turn it into a, uh, a platform that we use to... Um, go after turrets and stuff with depending on what mission we take we'll have to see how it goes let's get it up and running though it is a heavy mac where we need to get up that route uh, this guy should probably be gone this guy should probably be gone bringing in the bushwhacker and the catapult um, right now we don't really have the ability to do that but let's take the second lance into battle um, what do we want to leave out though Crab's got the Ultra 5 SRM dead fire. Raptor's got a pant loads of SRMs. This is just the PPC build. I guess we leave this guy out. It is pinpoint damage though, but the Wolverine has got far more damage overall. Um, and it's faster. Obviously the Hunchback's got to go in. Smash back. This guy can kill just about anything. Um, it'd really be a dip. I don't know. Crab or Irenia? Probably the Irenia we leave off. 35 tons. Raptor can pretty much hold its own, I think. So let's do this. Let's uh, have a contract here. Gotta take our second lance out. We need to make some sea bills before the end of the month. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, bargaining chip. It's against the Dacronus Combines. Hostile insertion. Karita and dropship. How are we doing with Karita here? We've got 100 reputation already. Okay. Um, so we can afford to lose a little bit, I think. Let's take bargaining chip. Capture base. What's this one? Just a battle. Uh, let's take the battle. We're, be we're probably better off finding better mechs in this one, even though it's a half skull lower. So let's go with this one. And we need to make C bills on this. Or get stuff to sell. Let's go this route. One of seven. That's fine. This should give us enough after drop cost. It says we need a million. It's because we got so much going on here. Um, I think we're going to be taking the Arinia service. There's a lot of stuff here that we can use. Although... It's got so many hard points. We could replace the Raptor. Like leave the Raptor out maybe. I don't know. Let me think about what we're fighting. Alright, so let's take these guys out of here. There's pros and cons for each one. So let's bring in the Wolverine. Let's bring in um, the Crab, the Raptor. I want to bring... No, we want to bring in this one. And we want to smash these guys as fast as possible. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Um, sheet metal. Make sure we know where we're going here. All right, so let's deploy our lance and get this done.
All right, straight up fight here. So I was thinking about it on the way down here. I'm thinking that maybe the crab is the one that we need to pull out of the service. What's up, Doc? Because we're going to have the bushwhacker. The crab, I, I never really like the... Um, I don't really like the uh, hard points on this guy. I always find it hard to load out. Um, whether that's just me, I don't know. I, I think the loadout it's got is actually not that bad. Um, but I think it's something that we could probably pull out of service. Um, and we could go... Um, in this lance, we could go Wolverine, Bushwhacker, um, Catapult, and Hunchback. That's a thought. Because we got our main lance already laid out. So we'd be pulling the Raven out, we'd be pulling the Crab out, the Arrhenia would go away. Um, hmm. I think we're going to reserve this. Standing Yeesh. Fire. They got reinforcements. Reporting. Got a nasty Enemy feeling. Uh-huh. Going to wish you hadn't done that. I've got eyes on yep. Thought so. That's a vehicle, Scorpion. Myrmidon, Joust. Figures it had to be vehicles, eh? Well, at least we're not got a lot of salvage out of this. There are only three guys down here? Maybe. Maybe only three guys. Oof. I can smell the plasma going right by my nose. Yes, Commander. Let's get into squashing range. Nope, there's your target right there. Ah, nice. Okay, got another mech up there. So what I might do this weekend, Urban Mech, huh? R8Q, I wonder what that is. Uh, what I might do this weekend Standing is up. take a bunch of low-level missions just to get a bunch of C-bills up so we've got enough for um, when 998 comes out, or 999, sorry. And it, I don't know when that's going to happen, um, but we'll get a bunch of C-bills. That way we can get our mechs fixed up. Um, we can refit our max because I definitely there's a bunch of these guys that need to be refit. Um, so I'll probably pull off a bunch of those missions this weekend. There. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you need acid? Do you need? I don't think we're gonna kill him. So let's drop some acid on him as well. We want to go dead fire. Probably we can do some good damage to him. So let's do it. Somebody's going down. Thank you very much. Wow, my uh, very uh, very horrible attempt at a Russian accent. What can I do for you? Apologize to all those uh, all those people. That, oh, is that a vehicle there? You guys saw that, right? There's something there. Ooh. Got more armor, but more weapons. So let's go after the one with more weapons. And yep. There was a vehicle there or something. Four guys up here. Fire starter. Okay. Gauntlet. That's what it was. You tricky bugger, you.
I really don't want you to go next. I really want sheet metal to be going next. Let's get this done. Let's finish this guy up if we can. He's already got acid on him. Let's dead fire him up. Firing. Thank you. Uh, yep. Eh. Yucky. Once the hunchback gets rolling, this is all going to change. I got so lucky, I could have been completely destroyed here. This guy could have really just done a number on us. Now, I should have had a look in the mech bay just to see how many parts we had left over. Um, gauntlet parts would be nice. If we can grab one, at least one from this mission, that would be nice. But our goal is to try and get through this with the minute, most minimum amount of damage, so whatever happens, happens. We just need to get... Need to get out of here alive. 96%. Here it comes. A couple hundred points damage in the back. Oh. I think I just kicked him right up in between the legs. Okay, we've got our initiative back. Um, Commencing yeah. Let's get back Don't in the water. Hey. Hey. Can we finish this guy up, maybe? If we dead fire him up? That's a lot of missiles, though. Well, that's 20. That's fine. Not enough, eh? Yes, Commander. Aye, aye. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like this mech. Kind of gets you stuck between a rock and a hard place here. Okay, that's done. One for the Lost the XL clan engine, though. <sighs> Should be able to flatten this guy. Waiting for orders. Well, one side or the other. Let's go for this side. 96.4% chance to hit. Here comes the Squatch. Putting my weight into it. You do that. Nice. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. Two PPCs out the battlefield. Fire starter in punch range. Minimal damage on that hit. Barely hit, Commander.
that the urban mech? Come on, mech warriors. It's go time. It is go time. Understood. Moving fast. So we're just going to shoot this guy with the ultra for now. Get some heat back and then we'll close on him. Oh, they both hit. What I want to know is how the local government force has got a clan built joust. What can I do for you? That's what I want to know. Double time. Uh Yeah, let's go that route. All right, a little bit here, a little bit there. Receiving you. Be the ball. Here it comes. Oof. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm here. Okay. Yeah, let's finish him up. Enemy mech destroyed. <laughs> Copy. Like this thing's like 20 SRMs with bonus damage. Just is insane. Hey. Hey. Let's see what we're up against. Bulldog, LRM, Herbie. Uh, yeah, let's say hi to him. Strip some of that armor off him. On my way, double time. Let's get some vision. Seventy four, fifty six. Looks like this guy's got a PPC in each arm? He certainly does. He certainly does. Firing a full Waiting for order. You think he could take that leg off? Possibility. Much left. Okay, there's one leg. I want the PPCs. Not that we're getting a lot of salvage, but I mean, if we get an opportunity to put them in the salvage, like the loot table, let's take it. Can't shoot him, really? There we go. There we go. Okay, he's got about 60 left in the leg. Let's go this route. Oh, he hit his head. 16 left. Not gonna save you from death. Hope this guy doesn't hit. All right. Uh. I'm here. Let's do this and this. You're not, but that's okay. Copy that. 
There we go. Wow, you moved into death range. Standing by. Here comes the death run, kid. Heading out. Da -na 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 You have elected the way of pain. Waiting on you, Commander. Sprinting. Yeah, put everything on this guy. Firing. Almost done here, that's what he does. Still within squash range. Minor damage, Commander. Nothing to see here. What no? What no? Shoot him. Okay it up, baby. Yeah, I'm firing. Orders. Yeah, I think we put... Oh, I should have just uh, stepped on him. I think we put enough of those... Um, enough ammo in that uh, raven, that's for sure. Or the raptor. Okay, so hopefully this gives us enough of a smiley face. to make our financial report. Let's see here. Uh, we got one gauntlet piece. However, plus 10 damage, minus 10 heat. I think I got a build for the uh, yeah, I think I've got a build for the Thunderbolt. Gonna go that route. Clan XL engine though for C bills. Ah. No, our builds are more important right now. We did get the gauntlet piece. Oh my god, and we got the other PPC. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's great. Okay. 17,000 repairs, which is really nothing. Let's have a quick look here. Uh, what are we going to do now? Let's pull the Arrhenia out. Let's just drop her out of here for now. Okay, and... hate to say this, but I think we're going to trash the Grinner. Doesn't really have anything on it that we need, um, except for a hand. <laughs> so we're going to trash this. It's just going to save us sea bills in the long run. So let's do that. Three hundred sixty-four thousand. That should give us our financial statement. I mean, it really is just a glorified wolfhound. So you know, six of one, half dozen of another. So we need to get the bushwhacker up and running soon, sooner rather than later. But that's not going to happen right away. Uh, we do need to refit the... Let's manage our tasks a bit here. Let's put... Thunderbolt up here. We need the Whacker back. And we need the Flamehawk. And we need the Griffin. And yeah, Hunchback and Wolverine. So let's go... Either way, it's going to be four days before these are back. So that's fine. Thunderbolt first, though. So let's... Eight days to the financial report. Let's take our... Um, take two days and bring that Thunderbolt back. And let's have a look at it here real quick. See if there's something we can just do to, to this guy to help him out. Like I said, it's really underwhelming... Uh, I think the mix of LRMs and the medium lasers with low chances to hit is a really bad idea. 
But now that we got those two PPCs, let's just take all this stuff out first. Okay. And then let's go to equipment. Now do we I don't think we have any arm mounts. Uh exchanger, which we've already got in. Don't need the narc launcher in there. Um uh, weapon mount plus two. Okay, let's put that in. Um uh, Yeah, Watchdog Suite. What do we have in here right now? Angel ECM. This is one defense, increased sensor and sight range, reduced signature on enemy sensors, minus 50%. 210. So I think this is probably going to be way better. So let's put that in. That's only one ton, right? One and a half. So it saves a little bit of, little bit of weight. Now this is the breaching cockpit. Um, that's for auto cannon. This is close range. We're not, we're not using this guy as a close range boat. The improved one gives a plus ten percent called shot modifier. Advanced is plus twenty. So this is a better way to go. Minus one recoil. Slick sweet. Do we have? I don't think we've got anything else that we could add in there. Voice cockpit command console. No. We will at some point use a mech with a command console, but just not right now. Range sensors, 10% to all range brackets, minus 50% minimum range. Uh, no, I think this is this one's fine. Increasing the sight range. Three to sensor checks, that's pretty good. So if we go to weapons now, and I want to put the, both of those PPCs that we just picked up, I want to drop them both in the same arm here. Uh, so we had this PPC I tried to use, but it's 50 damage. Like, it's bonus to hit, but the damage on it was just like, you might as well put the large laser in for less heat and almost the same damage, which is what I ended up doing. Okay, so we've got three of these guys. Let's put two in. We're almost out of weight. Um, so what's our heat sinking at right now? Pretty damn good. Uh... Now we should have a PPC capacitor here. There it is. Let's drop that in. This is volatile, isn't it? Yeah, let's put it over here. Um, so that's going to crank up. Did I put the wrong PPC in here? I did. How did I do that? Because you weren't looking, stupid. It kind of makes sense. Um, here we go. Right, right. So heat efficiency, like 57, 37. We got two tons left. Now, it's going to be torso mounted lasers. Has to be. I mean, we could put a couple of those. I don't really want to do that, though. Those regular medium lasers in. You could put a clan ER medium. So we're staying at range here. Heat efficiency is still good. Medium X pulse is putting us over weight. What do we have that we could drop then? Nothing really. Exchanger we need to keep. I mean, we could drop the case. It's nice to have. We could change out the NSS if we wanted to and put in ferrofibrous. Like the medium pulse clan, I think would be the way to go. And if we hope nothing explodes, use this side to shield us. Put this on this side. So we'll shield with this side. I mean, for that matter, you could even do this, right? Shield with this side only. Keep the right side for firing. So the PPCs have got, what's a recoil on this? Two. So minus one for the arm, right? It doesn't have a recoil reduction. This does though. Minus one for recoil. Okay, well, plus the pilot minus recoil. Okay, not too bad. 
Heat sinking, 63.57 is actually pretty good. Now, do we have... We don't have any more prototype double heat sinks. Nothing we can do there. Yeah, no, I think we're done here. So I'm interested to see, although this would be really nice. It's two tons. What if we drop our core? Problem is, as soon as we drop the core, we lose the e-cooling plus one. We could go to e... Well, no, we don't necessarily lose it. Um... What do we have core-wise? We don't. We are limited with our cores. That's the problem, right? Yeah. So we don't have anything in between. So we lose one heatsink if we did that. What's the weight of this though? Seventeen and a half. Thirteen and a half. There's no way we can sink any more heat though. That's the issue. Like if we did do this. Right, we gotta pull this off. Now we're gonna start running into problems, right? And I don't have any other way to sink that heat. So let's say for the sake of argument, we lose this and this, because that's all we have. And we go with a double heat sink kit. Uh, there. And We start loading up double heat sinks here. We need to save two tons. That's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Where's the TTS? Although I don't know if it's taking into account the heat from the NSS and the heat from the PPC capacitor. I'm going to have to math that here in a second. Let's put this in. We require more slots. Of course we do. No other way to do this, eh? It's saying 87, 82. So these are 60 heat plus 20 percent is 72 heat 102 no 92 113 heat and we're minus 4 minus 19 percent so for sake of argument let's say we're minus 20 percent so it's like 20 uh, 22, let's say, for the sake of argument. So 113. So that goes down to 91 percentage wise. 91. So we're generating 91 heat. Sinking 60, 69, and 18, 79, 87. That says 87, 82, so it's incorrect. But it's still pretty darn close. Still pretty close. We shift this over here. We got, you know what we could do is we could just go back and put in, where are you here? Put our tag back on. It's going to be a lumbering beast, but double PPC hits. This is going to be 65. Uh, let's see, plus 15 percent is 6.5 plus 3.25 is 9.75, so 974 damage each. We were hitting for 80 before, though. Well, this is 74 each. That's pretty damn good. And then 33 and, a, and an extra pulse. So let's do this. Let's build this. It's 10 days. That's fine.
Yeah, I think we do that. And then once this bushwhacker is back, we'll figure out what we're going to do with this. Maybe we keep it as a uh, auto cannon build. Maybe we can get an Ultra 20 in it or something. That's a good possibility. All right, so I think what we'll do is we'll leave the episode here for today. Um, I haven't got much time. i got to still edit these and get them uploaded. So we'll leave it here for today. Uh, and then when we come back... Why is that saying 26? Oh, yeah, because we need to bring it forward. Uh, that is why. And if we're going to do that, let's manage this so that... So that's like 10 and 10. 5. So 15 days and we have everything back. Is there a better way we can do this? That would be 12. Yeah, that's better right there. So 9 days finishes, then it goes to here. 10 days finishes, this will be 2 plus 1. Then this will be 1 plus 3. Yep, that's perfect. So it'll be 14 days and everything's back. Cool. So we got half a month to wait before everything's back. We got enough for our financial report, just barely. Uh, I think there's some junk we can sell, so I'll probably do that between episodes. And then when we come back next episode, we'll work hard at getting enough sea bills. Uh, what I might actually do is jump planets too, and I'm going to move towards the Outward Alliance. Um, look for a four, star, four skull planet, because um, that'll give us the option to get down to two skulls and all the way up to five skulls for missions. So I think both of our lances now are going to be pretty out, outfitted to be able to perform and, and pull off roughly the same uh, skull level of missions. So I think we'll be probably pretty good. Um, so yeah, we'll do that next episode and I'll jump over. I think there's a planet that's 18 days away, which is just kind of perfect for us. It'll land us in the middle of the month and we'll have everything back by the time we get there. Hopefully we can find something in the store that's worthwhile. Um, I'm hoping we can find some more, uh, um, heat sink cooling pods. Um, that would be really nice. All right. So we're going to leave the episode there. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and also make any comments in the comment section down below about that Thunderbolt and any thoughts you might have on the catapult, how we're going to lay that out. Um, maybe MMM, maybe, uh, MRMs or something. I'm not sure yet with a mix of, um, LRM and SRM ammo, maybe SRM Deadfire and, uh, you know, LRM Artemis ammo or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. So uh, until next time, we'll see you all later.